Okay. Okay. So, some people know my concern about Daniel Hemrick. Um, I don't dislike him as a driver. Don't get me wrong. I don't dislike him as a driver. But my problem is um, he got rushed up to cup just based on what exactly? Consistency? He was consistently running well in Xfinity, yes, but um, it bothers me that he got moved up to um, the Cup Series a little too fast. Um, I'm having like a discussion with people about him not deserving his right because I really don't think he deserves it. Honestly, he's taking a seat from someone who actually has proven themselves by winning races and being a little bit more successful in the series that they were in before they ever got the cup. Um, like all the young guys now that you see in the cup series had success and won races um, in Xfinity or in trucks, whatever it may be. Like Eric Jones, he was super good in both trucks and Xfinity. Um, and now he's in the Cup Series because of that. Well, not like based on that alone, but he's proven himself by beating like some of the best, like Kyle Busch and Brad Keselowski and all these other Cup drivers. And um, same with Byron, same with Chase, same with um, Blaney, and all the, all these young drivers now that are in the Cup Series. Well, most of them have had success in the prior series, winning races, either winning a championship or just winning races in general. Um, but someone was like, it, does it bother you that, like, Matt Kenseth, like, almost won or won a championship by just won, by one winning one race and this and that? I'm like, I'm not talking about winning championships. I'm talking about moving up to the Cup Series at the wrong time. Hemrick has never won a NASCAR-sanctioned race. Not in trucks and not in the Xfinity. Yes, he was consistently good in Xfinity, but he never won a race. I get it's hard to do. Someone's like, but you're a fellow Chase fan. Like, don't you get it? And da da da. I'm like, because Chase had success in Xfinity. There's a difference between that and Hemrick. Chase won numerous races in the two full time years he ran like he won four what three or four races in his championship year of Xfinity rookie year and like two in um his sophomore year of Xfinity um he proved to himself and that's why he's in the cup series because he actually did something not just ran in circles and got second place finishes and all that he was competing against the best. He beat Kyle Busch. He's beaten Dale Jr. He's beaten, like, all these other cup drivers, and that's why he's in the cup series now, and that's why he has three cup wins right now. And one of the most one of the most consistent young drivers out there. Like, I just don't understand why people go to the defense of Hemrick. Like, but he was so consistent. I'm like, consistency is great, but that's not going to cut it in the cup series. Especially... Like, running with RCR. I know they're not, like, over-the-top great right now, but they're getting back to once, like, all Chevys are working their asses off to get to where they once were and try to get them in the wing column because all it's been has been Toyota, JGR, and Penske Ford. No one else has won a race this year. That's five different um, drivers have won this year, but came from two different teams. Like, you want to compete with that? I want to 
But here's my thing. If you can't com compete in win races in Xfinity, then you have no business running in Cup. I'm sorry. That's just my opinion. I know people are going to be like, oh, like, you know, pissy and have their millennial little feelings hurt. But um, that's just how I feel. Um, I'm not talking about going after championships or whatnot, but I'm just saying, if you don't have a, um, any past success in the last two series, like the prior two series of the sport, then you have no business being in cup. I'm sorry. The fact that one, he, now he's running with RCR and running the eight car bothers me a little bit. I'm not one for like numbers and stuff like that, but the fact that he's the, of all the drivers, he's the one who's been chosen to drive that car and be in a cup car. And my thing is, like, I just don't. I feel like someone a little bit more deserving belongs in that car, not him. I get our like where RCR is coming from once like. Wants him in that car, but from like outside standpoint, it just does not look good for the team itself. Um, so I don't just realize this. There's a difference. I don't dislike Hemrick as a driver. I just dislike the this the decision of moving him up to Cup when he has no prior wins up to this point. Cause this all stemmed off of, from a post on like Twitter and stuff like that about how he's like struggling and this and that. I'm like, I wonder why. I wonder why. And that's why this whole thing came up. So, um, the hair is uh, not cooperating today. So, but um, that's pretty much what I'm trying to get at here. Like, I'm not talking about these drivers who don't win any races and go on to win the championship. But like, I think Newman did one time, but or Stewart, I don't know. No, it was Stewart. Um, I don't know why I said Newman. Um, but I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about just being in the Cup Series alone. I'm just saying, if you can't cut it in Xfinity and can't win races, and I get it's hard to do, but... And like I don't, I'm getting sick of like getting Chase brought up for like being having a point made. Like, oh, you're a fellow Chase fan, you should understand. I'm like, I, I do, but bringing Chase up to, to prove a point about how hard it is to win races, I get. But this is the Cup Series he's in, and he's already proven that he can win races in Xfinity because he's done it what four, five times, six times. Um, Like, struggling to get a win in Cup is a whole lot different than struggling to get a win in Xfinity or Trucks because all of those drivers are, like, in those lower series are either still learning or just, what, I don't know. But, um, I just don't get it. I don't get the mind mindset of bringing someone that inexperienced to like not winning a single race to the cup series. That's just my opinion. I don't see why he's there in the first place. So you may disagree with me, but honestly, I don't care at this point. Cause, um, it's just, it's just baffling to me that people think he deserves that ride when Clearly he doesn't because he hasn't done anything worth getting a cup right. That's just how I see it. I'm not trying to hate on the guy. I just think someone else who has a little bit more experience and has some wins under his belt, like in other past series, like trucks and stuff like that, then we can, like, I feel like, People keep throwing Chastain out there, but I feel like Chastain is a would be a better fit in that ride because he does drive Chevys in the um, does he drive yeah he drives Chevys 
in like a cup series, Xfinity, and whatnot. So um, he throw he runs in every single fucking series, all season long. It's crazy that he doesn't have a top ride yet. It's like insane to me. Like he has a win in Xfinity. And yet he's still like running in like crap equipment. So it doesn't make any sense to me that someone like that, who has proven himself time and time again, can't get top ride. But someone with no wins at all in any of the series gets a cup ride. So that's just me. Um, you can leave your opinions and whatnot. So I got work today. I hope everyone's having a good Easter. I'm not celebrating this year based on reasons I've already explained. So, just watching some baseball before I go to work in about an hour. Ugh. I want to go to work, but I got the day off tomorrow, which means nothing because I'm watching my nephew. So, um, try to get to the gym for the rest of the week because I've been slacking hardcore on that. So, um, yeah. Hope everyone's having a good day, and I'll talk to you later. It's